What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon Showdown live. Um, man, I'm still surprised by the whole live thing. It's kind of crazy how it took over, you know? Like, post-narrated battles were the way beforehand, and now this live thing just seems to be going crazy. So, you know, of course, like I said, I'm going to be staying with the trends. And um, also, in regards to my team, man, I had to switch Alma Momo 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 out. And I, I, I replaced it with Kofford Grigas. I'm not going to call it Kofagrigus like most people usually do, that's clearly the wrong pronunciation for it, but I'm using this card for Grigus now, and I'm really curious to see how this shit's going to work out. And by the way, just as like a little bit of a heads up, I apologize if my appearance isn't the best, you know, I kind of woke up and my hair was all kind of messed up, I kind of tried to make it look good, um, wearing this big ass shirt, you know, but I mean, hey, if you can't accept me at my worst, then... <laughs> Let's get into a battle. Okay, OU. Um, our Cofagrigus is actually. Um, let me just show you the build really quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it thanks to the format that I usually have on the screen, but um, our Cofagrigus is going to be um, max defense, max HP. A simple build, kind of like standard cookie cutter. And it's going to have um, Will O Wisp, Paint Split, Knockoff, and Shadow Ball. But. Hey man, I'm sure you guys don't want to see all that. You just want to see me get into a battle, so let's find someone to kick our ass. Alright, he's going to be leading with Greninja. That is pretty damn obvious. And if he doesn't, he's going to probably lead with Galvantula. We're going to want to... We are going to want to freaking hit this thing hard, because it's probably going to go for a sticky web. So let's go in there with my Thunderous, just to make sure that we can taunt this guy. If we need be. Hit him with the taunt real quick. None of that. None of that. Okay. So now, he's most likely going to go for a Thunder, so it's probably best that we just go in there with Chestnut. Or maybe we can go in there with my Nidoqueen. Yeah, let's go in there with Nidoqueen. We'll be able to take that really well. Thunder is no problem for me. And now, I should most likely go for the Flamethrower, but Vaporeon is going to come in. I know that's going to happen, so let's go for a Thunderbolt. Gengar comes in. That's totally fine. Let's go for one more Thunderbolt. Should we play Reckless here? You know what? No, I don't want to play Reckless here. We don't know what Gengar might just have for me. He could... What could he have? You know what? I'm curious. I want to see what the fuck Gengar has for me. Because at this point, I don't really see what he could do to me. Will-O-Wisp? That's no problem at all, baby. I'm special. Oh, he lived? Wow. Come on, dude. Really? Now, if we go for another Thunderbolt, he's most likely going to try to go for his Electrovire. So... Hmm... Let's see, it's pretty much a matter of if I predict correctly around this or not. He's probably not going to want to lose his Gengar, man. That's a, almost a guarantee, so... Fuck it, we should just probably go for the Earth Power. Because what else can he do? What else can he really do? Oh, he has Hex! Bad move on my end, bad move. Okay, I totally should have seen that coming. Gengar's carry Hex. It's pretty damn obvious, okay. Let's go into... Thunderous. Take that hit. Okay, and now we'll just go for a Hidden Power Ice to ensure that that Electrovire doesn't get a boost in any way. Sludge Wave! Oh, he outsped us? Wait, oh, oh, of course, it's Gengar. Alright, well, the Life Orb is going to kill me, but at least his Gengar's dead. And now he's, we're going we're gonna to double down, so let's see. Let's go into. Uh, he's probably going to go in there with Grenade. Let's go with Chestnut, baby. Oh, okay. Galantula comes in. That's not a problem. He'll go for the Sticky Web, but we can just go for a Stone Edge. Most of my team is going to be slower than him anyways. Uh, unless we can go into Durant, maybe. Should we just go for a sticky? At this point, he's gonna get a sticky web up if he decides to go for it. So maybe it'll be better if we just if we can go for a stone edge. And this dude said, "Come on, man!" In the chat, like, "Come on, dude! If you dudes don't know how to be patient in playing Pokemon Showdown, this is a game where you need to you need to show refinery. And refinery is not rushing your opponent to make a move just because you've already made yours. You know, this is a very competitive game, man. You gotta play this smart to the wire. Think behind every move. It's already a game based on enough luck as it is. Stone edge." Okay, Sticky Webs, hit the Galvantula really nice, um, that is, I, I figured he would get a Sticky Web up, it doesn't really matter though, and let's just hit him with an Earthquake to ensure that um, he 
will get hit because if you try to go for enough stone edge, he's obviously there's a really good chance that he'll miss. Will miss. So, okay, Bug Buzz took that really well thanks to the assault vest earthquake. That's good. That's the thing. Even though assault vest does help with taking hits, because of the lack of leftovers, we're we're not in a position to take too many hits in the first place. Um, let's go into my coffer Grigus to be able to um, take the ice punch from this guy because it most likely he's gonna go for it. Oh, power up punch, even better. All right. Let's go for a little bit of a, uh, let's go for a, he's probably going to see the will always coming, so let's go for a knockoff. Because, you know, Vaporeon losing its item, that'll be great, because no recovery, even though it most likely does have Wish. And now, this Vaporeon, what will be better? Will it be better going for the will always or going for the, the Thunder Wave? The residual damage sounds good, but what use will be Will-O-Wisp when I don't have residual... He's probably going to go for a freaking Toxic in the first place as it is. So maybe I should just go in there with my um, Chestnut, threaten this guy out. Yeah, go in there with Chestnut, because nothing's going to want to take a Wood Hammer under these circumstances. Unless he has Ice Beam, which would really suck. But um, nothing's going to want to take a Wood Hammer, so... Oh, and he stays in for the Wood Hammer! You are so lucky that you... Oh, you are so lucky. So, so lucky. Okay. Probably gonna go for a Protect. So let's go in there with my... Uh, let's go in there with um, Togekiss and Thunder Wave, because at least this way we'll be able to be faster than him. Alright, so that's, that's no big deal. It's no big deal. He's probably gonna see the Thunder Wave coming though, so maybe we should just go for a Wish. Oh, Toxic. Okay then. Let's see, let's see. Probably gonna go for a Scald, maybe. But I don't know if Chestnut can live in the Skull. Maybe it can. Let's go. Let's see what your special defense could be like, Chestnut. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Probably gonna stall us out. So, you know what? Let's go for Togekiss again. Because he's probably gonna use Protect again. We can get Chestnut's HP back to full. And then we'll be able to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Vaporeon. Because, like I said, nothing wants to come in on Chestnut's hammer arm. I mean, Chestnut's wood hammer. Nothing wants it. I don't think anything wants that. I'm gonna go for a Scald. It's no problem at all. Coming on Chestnut. In a way, it's kind of good that Chestnut got poisoned because it's gonna be able to, um, it's gonna be able to not be burned, and that's gonna be really useful. So now we're in there, full HP. Let's go. We got this Vaporeon. Let's go for that wood hammer. I don't know, this guy's playing kind of predictable, but the wood hammer, nothing's going to want to take it, like I said. And with the Assault Vest, we'll be able to take those Scalds all day, every day. That's not an issue for us. Now, of course, the issue will be the, re the residual damage from the freaking... It's probably going to go for a Protect, and then another... Yeah, this isn't good. This isn't good. Maybe he's just going to go for another skull. Hmm. Damn, it'd be great if we had to Toxic on this thing. Um, okay, you know what? Let's go into Coffer Grigus. We're gonna hit this guy with a uh, um, Will O Wisp, so this way we can get some residual damage on him. Let's go for the Will O Wisp. Yeah, let's go for it. This guy's toxicing everything, man. Alright. And now, we are going to be able to kill him because he's not going to be able to wish up again. So this is great. This works out perfectly fine for us. If anything, he's probably going to switch to something else. So let's just go for a knockoff to ensure that he's not able to. Even though he kind of did his job as it is because, you know, he poisoned pretty much everything on the team. It's going to be hard for any of my guys taking any extra damage here because they already are all poisoned and they got the sticky web on top of it. Then again, these guys are normally be slower than most of these Pokemon as it is. Green Ninja now. Oh boy, he's probably gonna go for that Dark Pulse. Probably, 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 probably. Okay. So, if he's going to go for the Dark Pulse, then we might as well just give this guy something that doesn't really matter too much. Needle Queen matters, but it will get outsped even if his his um even if his Pokemon are para um, paralyzed because of the Sticky Web. I don't know if the Sticky Web will make Needle Queen slower than a Greninja if it's paralyzed, but. At this point now, um, Middle Queen really, I would love to keep it alive to maybe, no, 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 there's no use because it won't be able to, you're slow. You must be under the age of 16. Clearly he must because you're rushing me. I'm not even taking all that long, dude. Like, come on, calm your ass down. 
if you happen to see this video, dude, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but you know, calm your tits, man. <laughs> it's not like I'm taking an hour here. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm guessing we're. Then again, do I really need Carphagrigus? Yes, we do for the um, for the Electrovirus. So you know what? Yeah, let's just go into Nidal Queen. I'm. It's going to be more useful to keep Carphagrigus alive so I can battle that freaking um, Electrovirus. And now that this guy hit me with the Dark Pulse, we'll be able to go in there with Togekiss. Hopefully, Thunder Wave him. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to Thunder Wave this guy. No problem. Oh, he's got the Ice Beam, of course. Oh, good ninja! You son of a bitch! The Life Orb set is so deadly! <sighs> okay, fine. I can do. I can do. That's fine. Go in there with Durant. At this point, I don't think there's anything that he can do to Durant that'll kill it in one hit. And I'll be able to retaliate with the X's or do a lot of damage. He's most likely going to go for the Water move, so it'll probably be best if I just... If I just stay in and go for the X's. 100... Yep, of course, of course. Great Ninja, fucking hero of all match. No wonder why they're putting this bitch in Smash Brothers. No wonder. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much a snack wrap, man. It's pretty much done. Damn. Good Ninja's a problem, dude. Like I haven't realized it before, but this thing is an issue. Hmm. But then again, the sticky web kind of is fucking me up the ass as it is, so... Uh, okay, wood hammer. Well, even though he's probably going to be able to kill me with Ice Beam. Yeah, man. The coverage that he has, coupled with the fact that he has that Ice Beam, it hits a lot of Pokemon on my side for super effective damage. In fact, it hits everything either super effective or neutral. So, I'm going to have to address that Ice Weakness, man. A sweep like that is unacceptable. When, especially when you consider that, you know, there's... No one was able to take anything from that Greninja. Yeah, there's gonna have to be some changes on this squad because there's a little bit too obvious of an ice weakness there. Like, he ran through everything with no problem. That's not healthy. That, that, that is not kosher by any means. So, we're going to have to adjust this team some more. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll let you know exactly what the hell we did to address that glaring ice weakness. Maybe we, maybe we gotta shuffle some members around, dude. We gotta shuffle some people around because right now, th those weaknesses are way too strong. But then again, when this team was initially created, it wasn't created with the, the best synergy in mind. I was just using Pokemon that I like, but now we're going to have to try to delve into our options a little bit more and see what we can pull out that will cause us to have some better utility. Because right now, we, we ain't good. We ain't good.